Hello and welcome to a new video about my particle controller. Today we want to extend the, the saving, the power saving a little bit, and we want to turn off the display and see how much this is, how much this is gaining. Okay. So, actually what I need, I need a new timeout. Hmm. And I will call this timeout hmm. Screen saver. Screen saver. And I will set this to, let's set this to, for testing purposes, purposes let's set this to 30 seconds. Good. Huh? When do we need to, whenever button is pressed, there must be somewhere, handle button. Raw menu, handle menu, handle button. If screen saver, time out. No, I'll make it like that. Uh, I will every time I press a button, I will just say, uh, I, I have to extend. Yeah? If screen saver dot timed out. If it was timed out, then I have turned off the screen. Then we... I don't want if not uh, timed out. Okay, if screensaver not timed out, then I will do all this stuff here. Oh, this is not good because I have all the returns. If it was turned out, timed out, I just say Screensaver dot set now return true. That's it. Screensaver set now. Whenever I press a button, I will set I will set the screensaver to now to running. All right. That's one thing. Yeah? And if it was already timed out, so if the screen was black, the first button press will just Start the screensaver timeout and return true, and that's it. We will do, not do anything. Okay. Here. If screen saver dot timed out, digital right, uh, backlight pin zero. Hmm. Else. But this is not this is not true. This would work probably, but not if, if there's an alarm. Where is this alarm stuff? Where is the alarm stuff? Check listening. Check control temperature. All right. Radio available. Flash alert. Here, here. This is good. Here I have to put this. If an alert is ongoing, I want that this thing is blinking. And here, all right. All right. Let's see if it's turning off now. Upload. Thirty seconds. Must be the time. The upload is not yet finished. Now we're starting. Starting from now, we should have 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. It's black now. All right, first button press is doing nothing. I should be able to operate. Yes, I am able to operate. Now 30 seconds again. You can't see anything, right? Without background, no, there's nothing. All right, all right, this is looking good. Uh, what I want to know is how much power I'm saving due to this measure. Must be somewhere here, 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 here. Good. Must be somewhere. The measurement. Plug it in. Here we see. Turn on the light, maybe. 73, 
Yes, 33. This is how this looked like. This flashy stuff we also had. And now I really want to know how much, because now we have 33, 33 milliamps around. Uh, only 18. Let's say 20. This is good. So it is causing something. So we'll keep it that way. All right. I will keep it that way. And I want to add maybe a parameter for this. Add a parameter for this. The function is given. Eh? So uh, parameter config. Parameter 10 is, is screen saver timeout. Good. Eh? Then I will add a new three menu positions. And one has only one length. Parameter offset is ooh, two ten. This should this should work pretty nice. Uh, then we have print temps. This is a draw line, draw menu. Okay, I have fifty three. Okay, then. It's 53, and before it was 7, menu position 2, okay, 53, and the round rectangle is 7, plus 5, 55, 45, it's 50, 51, plus 42, 51 plus 42, 93, 94, 94 so here we're at 94 huh? and here we are two more so we are at 96 and i will not write limits i will set i will call it config mm -hmm. this should do the trick 94 52 we'll keep it the same way config Okay, that's that. Yeah. And then these parameters. This should work. This should just work. Yeah. Generic. I think that's it. That's everything I need to do. Hmm. Well, let's try and upload this. That we can display the parameter. Menu, uh -huh. config is here, screensaver timeout, minus 0 to 0 0.01, all right, this button is a little bit, all right, so I only have to use this parameter somewhere, and this is, I will make it in this handle button, this is good, I'll handle menu, handle, handle button, here, that's it. I will get long param val equals uh, screen save. I will call it screen save time equals params dot get param uh, number. Far on screen save time. Uh, if screen save time is smaller than let's say 100 or let's say one second, screen save time equals 10 seconds. Okay. So no, no, not smaller than 10 seconds, than one second, uh, than, than 10 seconds, actually. Do it like that. And here we will not call set timeout, but I will call set timeout, this, and with the parameter of screen 
save time. This is how this should look like. And also here. And now I should use the parameter. Upload, upload, upload. Everybody is thrilled. Right now it should be 10 seconds. Don't have my... Uh, let's look. Should be 10 seconds. That's just uploading. Uploading! Upload finished. Now it should go dark pretty fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Looking good. Now I'm going to change the parameter here. And I'm going to change this to, I don't know, like, let's, let's change it to 30. Ooh, this was wrong. Because it's now it's 3000. All right, there is still a mistake in my program. There's still a mistake in my program. I noticed, I noticed, because here I have to divide it by 100. Actually, I will multiply this by 10. This is good. Uh, because then it's already in milliseconds. Yeah. I always trick myself. And I think uh, I feel in every video I trick myself. <laughs> Stupid mistake. Good. Uploading. We've established we are using now 10 seconds, right? Let's once again try this. 85, 92, finished. Starting up. All right, roughly 10 seconds. Uh, change to the menu and now change this. And now I should be able to change this to, to th uh, let's make 20 seconds. Huh? Hmm, it seems like this was not enough. The input, the input is not the input. Save input value. <laughs> Little mistake. <laughs> okay, uploading. If I'm really using now, let's say 20 milliamps, then at the at five volt side menu. Okay, don't touch it. All right, roughly 10 seconds. This was a lucky guess, I would say. So let's change and now, now I should be able to change this to, I was able to change it to 30, but not to store it, right? Ah, now it's stored. Okay, now let's see. Whoa, all right. My counting seconds is pretty nice. At least it fits with this, 30 seconds now. Good, now I have a parameter. No, I can change. Nice and smooth. Yeah. All right. Now a screensaver. We have everything. Everything we need. Everything we need. Nice. I will put this together. Right. Put this together. Of course. Of course. Doesn't this look nice? Huh? I have my handheld device, I have my measurement device, those two are key communicating. Huh? Okay. New temperature value, new, new, new uh, battery value, new temperature value now. Hey, I mean. As the base station, you can put it on. Everything is working how it should now. Okay, so there is my barbecue measurement station right now. Right now it's not a controller, it's a measurement station. 
However, I want to see how this is working. I must confess. So, next stop. Barbecue. Next stop. Barbecue, barbecue, barbecue. Next video, cooking video. We'll make spare ribs. Yeah, the spare ribs don't take that long, six hours maybe. Next video, Hans is cooking spare ribs. But this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.